Hello, seventh standard. Have a nice day. Today's video session is video number twenty-one. Right? And today we are going to recollect, recall all the points that we have learned in unit number five. In that modifications of plants. Right? In that uh, medium portion, we have learned and completed portion as. Uh, reproduction in plants, sexual and asexual, is it not? In that asexual reproduction, continuation of that is the modifications of plants. The plant parts, root, stem, and leaf, they are also modified to take part in reproduction. That is normally coming under asexual reproduction. But we call it as vegetative propagation. We are naming it as vegetative propagation. Propagation is another spreading. Yeah. So it is called vegetative propagation. I hope you remember this. Hmm? So now this parts of the plants are root, stem, leaf, flower, fruits and seeds. Is it not? In that root, stem and leaf, they are forming vegetative part of the plant. So they are also capable of reproducing asexually and it is called vegetative propagation. Whereas flower, fruits and seeds, they are forming reproductive part of the plant and they take part in sexual reproduction. I hope you remember this, right? So now the root system. <coughs> what do we know? Root system. It is a taproot and fibrous root. Yeah. What are the characteristics of root? We have done. It is brown in color, absence of nodes and internodes, and then it is growing towards the soil below the soil. So it is growing. Towards the center of gravity. So it is called positively geotropic. Roots are positively geotropic. The movement of the roots towards the gravity that is called tropism. When it goes towards the soil, it is positively geotropic. Whereas shoe system, it is positively phototropic it grows towards the sunlight so it is positively phototropic okay so what are the part characteristics of the roots we say it is normally brown in color they are having they don't have root nodes and internal so we say absence of nodes and internal and then they show positively geotropic movement and then these two system normally <coughs> functioning as first fixation of plants firmly in the soil that is called anchoring. <coughs> fixation of plants firmly in the soil that is known as anchoring. And then it takes part in absorption of water and minerals. So, I hope you remember these two are the normal function of root as anchorage and absorption. Anchorage is fixing the plant firmly in the soil, absorption of <coughs> water and mineral salts from the soil. These two are normal functions. So, yeah. And then these root system, they are as two types, taproot system and fibrous root system. What do you understand? Taproot system, at center, <coughs> thick, primary taproot, center, thick, primary taproot, from the arises secondary root, sorry, from the arises secondary root, which in turn giving rise to tertiary root system. I hope you remember. Basic standard is first 
So <coughs> this is forming the structure of taproot system. A central thick primary taproot. From there arises secondary roots, which in turn gives rise to tertiary root. <coughs> and this is forming taproot system. So yeah, whereas fibrous root system, fibrous root system as from the base of the stem, a cluster of roots are arising like this. From the, in the base of the stem, a cluster of roots are arising from the stem. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this fibrous root system, it is characteristics of monocot plant. Example, maize, <coughs> maize grain, corn chola chola. That is maize grain. Whereas taproot system, it is characteristic of dicot plant. Example, bean seed, bean plant. Our character is bean seed. And the variety. I hope you understand. Hmm? So it was the first taproot system. Everyone in the line <coughs> Then from there give branches. Give branches like this. And so this is primary root. This is secondary root. Then from this you give tertiary roots. This is Tertiary. This is a we have to draw the root system. For just a second, we are drawing that a center primary root. In the the primary root, then branches, secondary, and then tertiary roots. So, in the root system, it is of two types tap root system and Fibrous root system, tap root system, diagram, we are drawing like this, where center, thick tap root to center, the, we have to draw one uh, uh, root from the secondary and tertiary roots. Okay, so the same way, this uh, fibrous root system, is this, <coughs> as fibrous root system, it arises from the base of the stem. So, first, in, for a line photo. That is for the ground level. Then you do like this. You know the stem base. This is base of the stem. Okay. Then from there you give branches like this. And then from there you have to draw many root hairs like this. We have to draw many root hairs like this. I hope you understand. You have to draw these three also. Okay? So this is that root and fibrous root system. Now this root system has having modification as root system having modification as storage. We have got the modification, storage, mechanical support. Storage, mechanical support, then gaseous exchange, storage, mechanical support, gaseous exchange, <coughs> then gaseous exchange, then epiphyte, epiphytic root. And third one, last one is the Astoria. Last is Astoria. Astoria root. Okay. So now what do we know? This are the root modification. Types of root modification. What are all roots meant for storage, mechanical support, gaseous exchange, epiphytic root and Astoria. Okay, can you remember this? Huh? Now in this, under storage, we have conical, we have the conical fusiform, 
conical, fusiform and napiform. Conical, fusiform and napiform. Conical example carrot, fusiform example radish and napiform example beetroot. In a conical, <coughs> the roots are said to be storage root or it is also called tuberous roots. Storage root or tuberous root. In a plants prepare food by the process photosynthesis that is carbohydrates. Okay. And these carbohydrates, they are utilized by the plant parts. Sometimes the excess carbohydrates prepared by the green leaves, they are stored in root stem or leaf normally. Normal root and stem normal. And the madri, <coughs> when it is stored in the roots, it is called tuberous roots or storage root. Adana carrot, radish, beetroot. Another number of the edible butter chamber. Okay. When the carrot, <coughs> when it is in cone shape, it is conical. When it is fusiform with the different spindle shape, uniform spindle shape, it is fusiform. Whereas napiform, bulging in the center. <coughs> And then tapering at both the end. So we say conical, carrot and the conical in shape, radish and the spindle shape, spindle shape, then nappy form and the pambalans and the top and the pullback, bulging in the center, tapering at both the ends. I hope you can recollect this point. Okay, so this is for storage. Otherwise, for tuberous nose. Okay. Then the <coughs> mechanical support. Mechanical support. It is crop root. Medical number worksheet pata. Yeah. Crop roots and then climbing root. Crop root, climbing root, and third one is stilt root. And I have all the worksheet and edit part of crop roots. Example, banyan. Crop roots, example, banyan. And then the banyan is a very big tree plant. And it gives extensive branches. Branches it needs additional support. For that additional support, there are vertical roots hanging down. All of them So that vertical roots hanging down. Those roots are giving mechanical support to the plant. And those roots are called crop roots. So example, banyan. Example, banyan for crop root. Right? The next one is climbing root. Example, beetle vine. Metal condition only. It is beetle vine. Now, put a <coughs> pictures come. When the video was, uh, when this lesson was taught, example with the pictures of the insert pani. Recollect that. Ilana, and the lesson I put to Okay. So, example, <coughs> climbing root, beetle vine, where this metal kodi. It is having a normal original root in the soil but it is a weak stemmed plant and it cannot grow erect so it needs a support so with that it is having a small brownish structure which is climbing around the support that is called climbing root example beetle one so the third one it is <coughs> Monocot plant. Yeah, monocot plant. Monocot plant. Alla, the <coughs> root system 
fibrous food system, it will be spread on the ground. But still, as the uh, stem is longer and stronger, it needs additional support. So, the sugar cane pattern is very challenging. And the nimitti vadarabla in the uh, stale root will be developed. That is for the sugar cane stale root. It gives additional support. I hope you understand. Okay. So, that is support, mechanical support. The next one, gas is exchanged. This is the oxygen to be kept. Example, Abyssinia. What is it? Abyssinia. It is also called breathing root or respiratory root with the nematophose. Nematophose, na? what I said again, Abyssinia is a tree. It is having a proper taproot system. But it is growing in the marshy land. It is growing in the issuous land where the land and the river, sorry, the sea made. So that soil will be somewhat salty in nature. So that proper root system due to salty nature of the water surrounding that it cannot take full. <coughs> It cannot uh, absorb, it cannot, the roots cannot get enough oxygen. So it is developing a pillar like protection. A pillar like protection called nematophore or pores <coughs> through this nematophore from the atmosphere it takes oxygen for the roots. I hope you understand. Huh? So this is Abyssinia in our <coughs> example on the rhizophora. I am a book like but you should know. In our example, rhizophora. Are you clear? Huh? So this is gaseous exchange. I am just recalling the lesson. Please understand. So this is Abyssinia and rhizophora example for Gas is exit, which is also known as breeding root or grinding <coughs> root, and they are having nematophores. Are you clear? Right. Next one, epiphytic root. <coughs> it is diagonal, oxygen, polar cluster, so we can. So, epiphytic root, <coughs> the plant will be having leaf like this. Right? Then, the roots are arising from this. These are the roots arising from this. It is a <coughs> epiphytic root. So normally <coughs> epiphytic root <coughs> they are perching on the trees. The trees will be it will not grow in the soil. Okay. So it is perching on the tree. So it is not a parasite. Same time, it is not a parasite. Okay? That is having <coughs> a proper root system, but at the same time, as it is not growing in the soil, it cannot absorb water from the soil with the help of the root system. So what happened? That is a modification. And that modification in <coughs> epiphytic root. This is a root system. This is normal root system. From that, it is giving another additional roots. They are called velamen root or epiphytic root. And this velamen root is capable of absorbing moisture from the atmosphere. Okay, so this velamen root is capable of absorbing moisture from the atmosphere. Such a type of root is called epiphytic root. And this plant is vanda. Name of the plant is vanda. I hope you understand. Hmm? Can you recollect what we learned in this when we learned this lesson? Hmm? The last one of the root modification is Hasturia or Sucking Root. Hasturia or Sucking Root, they are mainly 
present as parasitic nodes. Example, cascuta. <coughs> Example, cascuta. Chala. So, Hasturia also called sucking root, also known as parasitic root. What are parasites? Parasites are the living organism which are depending on another living organism. Another parasite. Okay. So now this is the host plant. This is the host plant. So this is the cascader plant will try another one. So yeah. And during that time, this cascader in the host will turn around. Remember, in the host, when it is touching, it develops a vascular connection. Another way, it develops a tissue connection. That is called Astoria. Astoria plural, Astoria singular. It develops Astoria through which it sucks the food from the host plant. I hope you understand. Yeah? That is uh, sucking root or parasitic root. Example, Astoria. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, this is for the <coughs> root modification. What are as Tuberous root or storage root, mechanical support. Under that, we have crop root, example, banyan, climbing root, example, beetle vine, steel root, example, sugarcane. Same so, way, gaseous exchange, example, avicinia. One more example, it is rhizopora, booklet like note panico. Then, it is having a special structure called nematophores. Okay, the next one, epiphyte. Epiphyte, example, vanda. It is not a parasite. Only for absorbing <coughs> moisture from the atmosphere, it takes through the, it absorbs moisture through the velamen root. The last one, it is sucking root the pastoral root. Example, cascuta. So, yeah. And in the video lesson, I have shown examples. I have shown examples. I hope you understand. Then, in the textbook, in the picture. I hope you remember. You got the book, and the beautiful colored picture. And the picture is bad. Okay. And the story is good. Beat road. Booklet called storage room beat road. Okay. And then mechanical support banyan root. <coughs> banyan root but then the tongan root. And the crop root. Mechanical support banyan root. Mechanical, sorry, crop root. The tongan root for branches and the crop root. I hope you are able to follow. Huh? Then it is the gaseous exchange abyssinia. Abyssinia actually is one tree. The root system is the saline water. The normal root will not get enough oxygen. It is having pillar like protection. That is called nematophores. Okay. Then this one sucking root. Example cascuta. It is the path is the path of the tree and the tree is the path of the tree. Adila chutti the manjala thread like structure mari apay tongo. They are cascuta parasite. I hope you are able to follow. May they not add the stem and lead modification. Are you clear? So this is for root modification. We will just continue. We will continue. Just to recollect the portion what you have learned. Just to answer this question. Production of new individuals from the vegetative part of the parent is called a dash. <coughs> Production of new individuals from the vegetative part of the parent is called vegetative propagation. I repeat, production of new individuals from the vegetative part of the parent is called Vegetative propagation. So, yeah. Then a flower may have either male or female.
female reproductive parts. A flower may have either male or female reproductive part. Such a flower is called dash. A flower may have either male or female reproductive part. Such a flower is called dash. And I learn it is unisexual. In the unisexual, if the flower has only male part of the flower that is stamen, it is known as staminate flower. If the flower is having female part of the flower, female part that is gynecium, then it is said to be pistillate flower. You should know the difference between staminate and pistillate Okay. Then the third one, <coughs> the transference of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of the same or another flower of the same kind is called a dash. Transference of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of the same or of another flower is called pollination. Definition for pollination. So, yeah. Fusion of male and female gamete is known as fertilization. Fusion of male and female gamete is known as fertilization. Right? So, there are two important events that has to occur for sexual reproduction. They are pollination and fertilization. Right? Then, the seed dispersal takes place by means of seed dispersal takes place by means of wind, water and animals. Seed dispersal takes place by means of wind, water and animals. So, then you should know for budding method of asexual reproduction. Budding in yeast, right? Fragmentation in spirochyta, vegetative propagation in potato, right? Then spore formation in fern. Namasoraya Patsavya fern. That we have to understand. <coughs> I hope you follow. Huh? Then explain what you understand by sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, I know that it is the mode of reproduction in which male and female gamete fuse together to form a ligand. The method of reproduction in which male and female fuse together to form a zygote. The zygote gradually divides to form a new organism. Okay. Then you should know the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction. Single parent in world, no formation of gamete, no variation occur. This is for asexual reproduction. Whereas uh, sexual reproduction, two parents in world, formation of gametes and variation will occur. So, yeah. Then this is the diagram for stamen, but this is anther, this is filament. Same way, gynecium, pistil and one of the full pistil, another one, pistil endless. But this is diagram. Clear up on anything. Now book a diagram. So yeah, this is just a few questions I have that we are checking. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then, no, no, what is the number? Match the following. Match, match the following. First of the bud. Then of the ice. More of the fragmentation. More of the Fragmentation. Another word. Spores. Another word. Spores. Clear? Okay. Tell 
मैच करने में भेजे स्पाइरल दायरा स्पाइरल दायरा ईस्ट देन रोस पोटेटो देन मेडमोन रोस पोटेटो मेडमोन क्या पढ़ोगे ये तो मैच पढ़ोगे पढ़ते बंदे ये तो पढ़ना पढ़ते ये एक पढ़ते दिस इस ईस्ट ईस्ट विल अंडर को एसेक्शुअल रिप्रेशन बाय पढ़ते दे नाइस बंदे पोटेटो वेजिटेटिव प्रोपेगेशन फॉर पोटेटो इट इस आइस फ्रैगमेंटेशन स्पाइरल दायरा then schools on the red one. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is the this is the <coughs> categorization of the recurring the points for reproduction in the cell. So yeah. Now the reproductive part of the <coughs> plant is the reproductive part of the plant is choose the answer root, stem, leaf and flower. Reproductive part of the flower choose the answer. <coughs> root stem and flower it is flower then the process of fusion of male and female it is it is fertilization then mature ovary forms the seed stamen pistil fruit ovary will become the fruit and ovules will become the seeds right and so food producing organism here it is rose bread mold Potato, ginger. <coughs> An answer. It is red mold. Okay. The bryophyllum plant. It is reproducing by leaf. Bryophyllum plant will reproduce by leaf. Every as adventitious buds. In a bryophyllum leaf. In a school like this, that is why I got them. Okay. This is bryophyllum leaf. From the margin of it, the leaflets will be arising. Plantlet, plantlet, from the margin of the leaf. So, when the this is plantlets. Okay. So this is called adventitious buds. This arrangement it is called adventitious buds. So normally. Plants, the plants which reproduce other than the sexual reproduction, the asexual method one is adventitious buds. For other than that, we have done but the fragmentation, spore formation. I hope you are clear. Huh? Yes, sir. Right. Then <coughs> we will do the last. Uh, uh, sorry. The stem portion has shall we continue? Never done never done. As the uh, <coughs> stem modification where we have aerial, subaerial and underground stem modification. Aerial, subaerial and underground stem modification. I hope you remember that. Huh? And the modification table matto for me just to follow the video. As stem, it is modified as aerial, subaerial. Just recollecting the subaerial and underground stem modification. These are underground stem modification. Root level number modification pathole. Adai marvi. इधर ले लिया stem modification as aerial above the ground subaerial it will be on the prostrate surface of the ground अनला subaerial and underground वाले दे below the step below the ground okay तो ना तो aerial modification it is tendril climber tendril Climber, then it is thorn. Yeah, what was that? Thorn, and third one, it is lions. Tendril or climbers, 
drawn lines. Okay. When a surveyor, if this runner, stolon, runner, stolon, sector, runner, stolon, sector, and offset. Whereas underground stem, it is rhizo. First one, rhizo. Second, tuber. Third, palm. Fourth, one. These are the modifications of stem. Now, I will the flow chart. Chalo. In the aerial, under the, the types of tendril or climber, then thorns, then lions. So, yeah. Whereas, subaerial stem, it is <coughs> a runner, stolon, sucker, and offset. Whereas, underground stem, it is rhizome, tuber, thorn, and bundle. I hope you understand. Huh? So, this is flowchart for stem modification. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. Huh? Right. So, this aerial modification, I examples matto, actually conclude for me. Okay. Aerial modification, tendril and climber, it is all good varieties. You know, like, Avaraka, Kotaraka, they are tendril or climbers. Then, thorns, example, citrus, citrus, boge, vela. Citrus and boge, vela. Citrus and thorn, pizza, pizza. there is a difference between thorns and spines. Spines are rose level and open shell spines. Whereas thorn and it is strong, sharp and hard. Whereas spines are very they are strong and sharp, but they are very tender in nature. And then this lines, when these uh, money plant uh, money plant will twine around the support. When it becomes very thick and hard, like when the tire mari they are called lines. I hope you understand. Hmm? So we run an example. Center la, otherwise cyanide la. Now we can do the same thing. The center la na, valla hai. And then cyanide la, are the same. Then stola is wild strawberry. Then sugar, it is crystal cream. Salmon dipo. And offset example, it is icone. Ah, amala cherry chilo le. Ah, hai tamale. Amala cherry na mita. Ah, tamale na mita ne na le ek maya kela. And then a higher thumb. Okay. Whereas rhizo, example, ginger, then tuber, potato, palm, colocasia, and bulb, mango. I hope you understand. Huh? The flow chart of the path which is example path. Now I have a video for the go through panda. Tomorrow we will continue this in detail with some objective questions. Right? We'll continue in the next class. Thank you.